Miss Lou, the song that started Exotica. We know Mr. Lou today as the song that opens the 1994 motion picture Pulp Fiction with its staccato machine gun riff, care of surf guitar legend Dick Dale. His version, called Mr. Lou Twist, is from the 1962 album Surfer's Choice on the Deltone label. It is influenced by his Lebanese roots and the traditional stringed instrument, the oud, also usually associated with Greek musicians. The Ventures, the Beach Boys, and the Safaris all made the song a California surfing anthem. Easy listening versions of Mr. Lou have been recorded by Martin Denny and Arthur Lyman. It was sampled in the Black Eyed Peas song, Pump It, in 2006. The song began as a folk song in the hashish-infused genre of Greek rebetico style of music as a cis or a dance number. It was influenced by Middle Eastern music, including Arabic and Tur Turkish belly dancing music and Jewish klezmer. This title comes from the word Mizir, which means Egypt in Arabic, modified with a Turkish ending to mean Egyptian. Along the Black Sea coast, the pronunciation by Pontic Greeks is Mizerlu. The first known recording, according to the book Ethnic Music on Records, Volume 3, Eastern Europe, by Richard Spotwood, was by Tetos Dimitriades in 1927 for the Victor label. Theodotes Tetos Dimitriades was an Ottoman Greek musician born in Istanbul, Turkey. He immigrated to the United States in 1921 toward the end of the Turkish-Greek conflict at the collapse <clears throat> of the Ottoman Empire and establishment of modern Turkey. It is thought Dimitriadis was familiar with the song prior to immigrating and recording it in the U.S. because another version by Michalis Patrinos, also an Ottoman Greek from Turkey, produced another version in Athens, Greece in 1930. This version was circulated in the U.S. on the orthophonic label. Petrinos reprised his performance in New York in 1931 under the title Misorlu. In 1941, Nick Rubanus, a Greek-American music instructor, released a jazz arrangement version crediting himself as the composer. His claim was never challenged, and so the credit remains to this day, except in Greece where it is credited to Rubanus or Petrinos. The English lyrics are attributed to three different writers, Bob Russell, Fred Wise, and Milton Leeds. The song's title was changed by Lebanese musician Clovis El Hajj to Amal when he performed it in 1944 and remains the only Arabic language version to date. The Turkish title is Yarali Gonal, the with lyrics by composer and singer Swat Sayan. The Serbian title is Lela Vranjanka by singer Stanisa Stosic. 
in 1944, Xavier Cugat was bringing Miserlou to a wider American audience with a Latin-inspired version that brought the song yet again uh, to an even further wider audience. The Ashkenazi Jewish roots of the song were explored in multiple places online and have a fascinating history of their own. Singer and actress Miriam Cresson is credited for her 1943 Yiddish lyrics, although the tune had been popular in the European Jewish community since the 1920s, and it has been hypothesized could have been brought in by way of Sephardic musicians. It is a popular song to play at Jewish weddings. A version of Miserlou was recorded in the 1950s by musicologist Harry Smith as sung by a prominent Orthodox Jewish rabbi from New York's Lower East Side. The rabbi Abu Lafia was a living repository of sacred Jewish music dating back centuries and Smith recorded many hours with him that may soon be released publicly for the first time according to an NPR article by John Kalish. The song was performed on a Los Angeles produced television show called Adventures in Music by organist Corla Pondit in 1951. Snader trans- telescriptions produced what could be considered some of the very first nationwide televised music videos. Pandit had 900 episodes to his credit. The song itself was perfect for Pandit's sensually androgynous persona as the epitome of the exotic orient. Uh, Pandit wore a turban and stared into the camera in a hypnotically mesmerizing fashion. He had a fascinating background of being the son of a Brahmin priest and a French opera singer born in New Delhi, and he claimed to be trained in London and Chicago. Three years after his death, it was revealed that he had in fact been born John Roland Red to a Baptist reverend and his wife in Columbia, Missouri. Pondit was a self-made man and utilized Miserlou to enhance the image of himself as he wished to be seen. Shortly after Pondit's popularization of the song, a doo-wop version was recorded by the Cardinals in 1955. Chubby Checker's crooning version incorporating lyrics in both English and Spanish soon followed. Miserlou's most famous version is by Dick Dale. The story behind the arrangement is that during a performance, Dale was challenged by a young fan to play a song using only one string of his guitar. Dale's father and uncles were Lebanese-American musicians, and Dale remembered his uncle playing Miserlou on one string of his oud or lute. Dale increased the tempo to give it a rock and roll edge. Miserlou is also a dance based on the Cretan Sirtos Criticos, but slowed down to fit the tempo of the earliest recordings of the Miserlou song. It was first performed to honor America's allies of World War II at Stephen Foster Memorial Hall just a few months prior to the war's end. The Miserlou spread quickly throughout the Greek-American community and beyond to non-Greek folk dance enthusiasts. Dances at Serbian Orthodox churches throughout the U.S. often featured this kolo or circle dance as well. Besides the song, Miserlou, the dance is also performed to renditions of Never on a Sunday from the motion picture of the same name. In the early 1950s, the song was adopted by the Armenian-American community, who were also very fond of line dancing, and subsequently rewritten by Ruben Sarkisian uh, under the title Ach Anushis, which translates to Ah My Sweet. 
The song has been so popular that multiple nationalities claim it as originating in their own countries, including Morocco and Iraq. Theory denotes a simplistic structure going up and down the Hijaz car or Makam Hijaz or double harmonic scale. For all its simple structure, Mr. Lu still evokes the feeling of sweeping grandeur, and this is evidenced by being selected by the Athens 2004 Olympic Games Organizing Committee as one of the most influential Greek songs of all time, and was used during the closing ceremonies. On the other end of the scale is the circular dance at Camp Walt Whitman in Piedmont, New Hampshire, where older campers, alumni, and staff clasp hands in the dim light and revolve as one group on the final night as they have every summer since 1948. And with that, I sign off, good listener from Mystic Ashram. Thank you so much for listening, liking, subscribing, and sharing. Have a good one.